Hi, I hope you are not disappointed because it's not Mask your RCNN or other object detection video. I have here Intel RealSense T265 camera. It's a tracking camera with Visual Slam uh, on board. It's 1.5 watt power and you can plug it in USB and you will have the position of the sensor. So let's see how it works uh, with ROS. When you start the RVs, it's not the original RVs file because I modified it, but you will get the position, but you can also add uh, cameras because you have access to the images from cameras, both. So as you can see, these are images from two cameras. This is fisheye lenses, uh, 800x800 roughly and uh, 30 frames per second. Not more. I was hoping that there would be, uh, I don't know, 100 or more, but it's only 30 frames per second. Maybe this is in somewhere safety in configuration, but I don't know yet. I started, I started the camera here. So here's the origin, as you can see, in, in RVs. I will take a look around and you will see if the positioning is good. Oh, well, wait. Just zoom out. Okay. So I'm moving two meters, three meters, and going back. So that was the starting point. Okay, now let's go around the desk. Here's the camera, and let's go back. Okay, quite the same place, so it looks promising, but okay, there are also some problems. I was hoping that this will actually not work, but it's working pretty good. But if you do something like this, yeah, of course, you will have quite large errors. But if you mount this camera on your robot uh, or small car or anything, I think it will not move like this. Maybe on, the, on, on a drone we will have some problems, but I don't have a drone. This sensor is meant to be used on a mobile robot and drones. So. If you have a drone, you can try it. I think you will have some good results if your drone is not <laughs> Oh, now it started to work. Vibrations, oh. Okay, vibrations are, are the problem for the sensor. Okay, let's restart this. Oh, wow. I think the problem was my fingers in the field of view of camera. I now remove my fingers from the field of view and... There's still some. Ah, it's quite hard. I don't have any mounting for this sensor yet, but I have an idea. I will use standard smartphone uh, holder and old Nokia to have uh, to mount this in the car in the car yes i'm going to mount this in the car and make some large scale tests uh, intel claims that this is one percent closed loop error which for now I'm, i confirm but there are some problems of course it's passive sensor so there is no infrared projector or anything just two cameras so that's that's how it looks like yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.